All right, so today I'm going to show you how you can install custom recovery on your Xperia Z Ultra STWRP custom recovery. Um, it was really hard for me to install this recovery and files and find the files, appropriate files for my device since it's a very old device, it's six years old. It was really hard for me to find the files and make them work. So in order for me to make them work, the first step I had to do was to downgrade the firmware to Android 4.4.4. And if somebody would like to see a video on that, drop a comment down below. And if enough people reply to the comment, I will, you know, um, make a video on how to downgrade your Xperia Z Ultra to Android 4.4.4. But you need to be on Android 4.4.4 and you need to have this file right here, which is the kernel, the custom kernel. This custom kernel automatically comes with the TWRP recovery and CWM recovery. And you know, you just need to flash this and you will get custom kernel and a custom ROM, a uh, custom recovery. So first of all, you also need fast boot files. I will leave a, a link down below to the fast boot files. This is the fast boot folder. This is the fast boot folder. So just copy your recovery file the kernel file go to your fastboot folder and paste it here I already have it here so I'm not going to paste it here but after you have done that just press shift press shift and right click and open command window here so to check if your device is connected or not one other very major thing you need to have correct drivers for your xperia z ultra i will probably make a video on that because it was really hard for me to make a lot of, a lot of drivers make to make them work with my xperia z ultra and you know i faced a lot of difficulties i will probably make a video on that but um as for now you need to have correct drivers for your xperia z ultra now on your phone power it off and once you have powered it off vol press volume up keep pressing volume up and connect the usb cable keep pressing the volume up button until you see this blue led now now your device is in fast boot mode and if the correct drivers are installed your pc will recognize your phone to check if your phone is connected or not, type fast boot devices. And there you can see my phone is recognized by the command prompt. Here you need to paste a simple command. I will leave the command down below. You can just copy it and paste it over here. The command is this. Just paste the command over here and hit enter once you hit enter your um, recovery image file or your custom kernel will be installed I already have it on there so I'm not going to install it but this is how it works so after you have done that stuff step just power your phone off wait for it to turn off And now a lot of people show this step wrong. A lot of people show it as Sony tells them, meaning um, how the Sony websites and um, everyone else tells them how to do it. But this is not how it works. You don't boot into recovery mode by pressing volume up and power button. I tried that a million gazillion times. It doesn't work. How you boot into um, recovery mode is you press the power button and keep pressing the volume up and down button continuously keep holding on to the power button and keep pressing the volume up and down like not press and hold just press them multiple times and you will get into recovery and as you can see here we have TWRP recovery now to root the device you need to install super su zip i will leave a link down below to download the super su zip file just simply hit install go here here's the update dot zip file swipe to flash and you will be rooted so now we will reboot the device 
and I will show you that custom recovery and by the way this is the creator of the kernel that I'm showing right now and this is the name of the guy and I will leave a link down below to his XDA um, thread where he explained everything like in 2014 I guess almost five six years ago now it's time to check if I'm rooted or not which I already am I've checked it before but let me check again as you can see I am rooted and I am on custom recovery as well now I can install all types of custom ROMs and it was really hard for me to do this for some reason with ev all the Android phones I've used I've never faced this type of difficulty with all of the phones that I have used it was really hard for me to do all of this stuff I had to unlock the bootloader I had to um, install the correct drivers because I was not getting the correct drivers I had to get correct drivers after that I had to you know find the correct files which was extremely hard for me to find the correct files I bricked my phone multiple times by installing the custom recovery directly so don't make that mistake so now we are done and if you want to see more videos on this device I bought this new for breach but I'm planning on making content more content on this device so do leave a comment down below and tell me what content you would like to see on this device. Until then, thank you very much.